everyone and welcome back to my channel in this video i'm going to be showing you how i prepare this offer which is called banga soup or banga stew i use the basic method to prepare this like no spices like seasoning a lot of seasoning it's just basic so if you want to see how i prepare this soup keep watching These are the ingredients. There I have some beef and the um, assorted inside. I have my smoked fish, crayfish and no cube. And I'm also going to be using onions and the, re the remaining ingredients I'm going to be showing that to you later. Okay. So for the meat, I'm going to chop off my half onion and add it into the, the meat. So I'm going to add one no cube inside as well then followed by salt so these are the things i'm going to be using to boil the meat so i'm going i'm not going to be adding water into this meat because we are using banga so i've already placed that over the heat to start cooking and for my fish i love to soak it in with boiled water and salt the same with the crayfish so i'm going to set that aside this is the banga. I'm using the fresh banga fruit to make this soup. You can use the can like the tin one if that is what you have. So I'm going to be washing them off with um, warm water. I actually use a very hot water here. So I'm going to dilute them with um, cold water. Okay. So after adding the cold water, I'm going to go ahead now to wash, uh, to extract the the soup out of the palm fruit my hand here is because i needed to add more cold water because the water i the hot water i added was very really hot so i'm going to go ahead now to extract the juice out of the palm fruit then i'll bring you back okay So I'm done extracting the juice out of the palm fruit now. I'm going to give it a second filter. This is to make sure that there is no shaft of the palm fruit into the, the, the soup. So now this is the stock that came out of the meat. I told you guys I wasn't going to add any water. So I'm going to add the, the banga soup into the same pot. As you can see, you have to be careful because at the last pot is sometimes it comes with sand and the rest so i just left that the last batch so now i'm going to place this over the heat and allow it to continue cooking for a couple of minutes about 10 minutes before i can add other ingredients so guys this is after about six to eight minutes as you can see it's boiling and i'm going to allow it to boil more okay this is about 10 minutes again i'm going to start adding the fish like the smoked fish the crayfish now i'm basically going to be adding the seasoning i'm using at this point okay so this is ogiri locust beans i'm adding it as well i'm going to be adding my no cube i added the crayfish already inside stir everything together i'm also going to be adding some salt so at this point if you want to add other commercial seasoning that is called banga seasoning you can go ahead to add it into the soup okay but i just wanted this soup to be basic like to be the original 
banga uh, soup. This is why I didn't add them. So I put the lid on. As you can see, the soup have like go uh, cooked down a lot, like almost half, and it started thickening. So now I'm going to add the meat. The meat I didn't cook it too much the first time, so just go ahead to add the meat or. You can wait a little before adding the meat if you're using fresh fish like mackerel fish you can go ahead to add them as well so after adding the meat inside i'm going to give them a quick stir like stir them very well and test if the salt or the seasoning is enough okay that might mean at this point i was looking for a piece of fish to eat <laughs> oh my god okay guys let's continue <laughs> so <laughs> i'm just going to allow this to cook uh, to start cooking down more again so at this point as you can see this is how uh, I, I did not calculate the minutes i cooked this soup to be honest with you because i don't know the quantity of banga soup you're cooking so it depends on the quantity and all you need to do is to Get it to the consistency you want. If you want to have a thicker banga soup, you can make it thick. If you don't want it to be too thick, you just get it to the consistency you want it to be, okay? So I'm just testing them for the last time to see if they are okay. Everything is balanced. And here is my nchuan, which is called scent leaf. So I'm adding the scent leaf right now. It's a frozen scent leaf. This is why it's dark. I'm giving them a quick stay again and I'm going to allow them to sit there for another three minutes and the soup is cooked like the soup is cooked and uh, hmm. oh my I don't know how to explain this <laughs> but this soup was so delicious like so so delicious like you can taste the that freshness from the palm fruits from this soup because there is no too much spicy or seasoning inside okay so after three minutes i'm i'm done turn off my heat my white rice was ready my fufu was ready to hammer this like i enjoy this soup so much so i hope you enjoy staying with me hope you enjoy watching this video if you do don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon that will notify whenever i upload a new video and make sure you share this video guys and give this soup a try if you haven't tried them so guys Thank you for watching and I will see you in my next one. God bless you all.